Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I want to teach you how to start for the beginners how to paint and what do they need. What kind of instrument tools do you need? So first of all what we need is the easel. We need the easel, it's very very important so you can put your canvas on it which we need of course our canvas. So this is what you can take it with you wherever you go you can paint, you can uh, take it inside, outside, it's very simple and easy. Next what we need, we need apron for sure definitely because no matter what you do, what you paint, you always get dirty on you which is we need that. And then uh, next we need our color chart which is very very important. This one it teaches you what to, what to mix together for light color, dark color and so on. I'll show you later on even closer how to, to explain you later on. And uh, of course we need our brushes which is what we need is like a liner brush you can have one uh, big and one small we need pansy, pansing which is when you want to tap any uh, grasses or whatever if you have to do uh, we need flat, br uh, flat brush just for certain places that you need to paint we need blending brush that whenever you put colors together and doesn't look too tacky so you have to blend it to get softer for example the cloud or the ocean the water when you do it you need this soft blending brush it's very soft just like a feather you need the fan brush which to make for example uh, if you want to make like uh, palm trees whatever or for a lot of other things that you can use definitely you need palettes uh, sorry um, except on uh, the knives that if you want to do mountains or let's say if you want to do um, knife painting it's to do with brush which you can do that we need bigger brush to make background if you need to fill it in we have to use this you can use for a lot of other things too and you can have some different small brushes thick brushes they're very important but for the beginners just have those few brushes that I'm telling you which is more important thing for you to use of course we need our uh, the palettes that you, you have to use your color of course now in case when you start to do it your colors it has to be one side darker color and the other side lighter color for example the brown the black brown bird sienna those are the darker color and the lighter color you put the other side always keep in the middle clear empty that's where you mix the colors together so you can do it next when you start to paint with acrylic now you have to start it's always good to start with inexpensive acrylic paints so it will make it you don't feel bad in case if it didn't work it's very inexpensive and it's very good so when you start the canvas you always have to wet with the water just to make it smooth a little bit if no you can have a, a gesso under which I don't have it but you put gesso color it's a little bit slippery that you can paint but just to start you can do with water and when you put your colors on the palettes because it's acrylic paint it dries faster you can always you have to spray it with water especially hot weather time don't do it when it's too hot don't paint outside it doesn't have any odor or anything you can always use it you can paint even in the house so uh, definitely we need napkin that you always have it with you now when you paint the um, acrylic paint I want to say that we never can use oil and acrylic together but in case if you do it background which I will show you later on for next segment uh, if you put acrylic you can always paint on top of it oil paint but if you do oil paint it doesn't work when you paint acrylic on top so for acrylic this is what you need for now and uh, let's say we have to do oil paint we have to always use for the oil paint on the canvas first we have to put um, a clear coat which is white clear liquid clear so what it does is which is linseed oil what you have to put it so it will be slippery when you do the oil paint and definitely you need uh, linseed oil uh, I'm sorry which is this is the linseed oil that's what you need to put first and then 
you need turpentine. There is odorless turpentine, and uh, show over there that so they can see. Uh, uh, that's the that's the linseed oil, and then you need the turpentine for the washing your brushes. Uh, make sure that it's odorless in case if you do it in the house it doesn't smell but try not to do it at home so this way you don't have to breathe anything now when you wash your um, when it's a uh, oil paint you make sure that in turpentine it has to be washed and clear it very good and wipe it with the paper towel clearly so it doesn't get any residue inside or clear otherwise it will go for waste so it's with the water too. In case if you finish it, make sure that you wash inside at the ends, otherwise the deep ends, it will collect color. And after it's washed, make sure you wipe it nice way to bring it back to the chisel. Chisel it means to the ends, like to be sharp. Make sure that you take good care of your brushes, otherwise you're going to waste a lot of brushes. That's how I did the first time when I started. So, and then um, this is all you need for starting to paint and I hope it will be successful for you and you'll start to do it it's very easy simple I wish you the best and a good luck thank you very much for watching bye bye